Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is show you how to uncover uh, placements that you can target with Google Display Network to basically scoop up uh, prospects for your local business who may not quite be ready to search for a solution in your city, but they're definitely in the research phase. So we're going to use a bathroom renovator as an example here. So I did a search here for bathroom renovations. I'm going to do it more specific, bathroom renovations, Halifax. That's where this particular client is at. And um, you can see that this query here targets a lot of local businesses. We've got the map, we've got uh, AdWords, and when we go down locally, we've got primarily um, either uh, aggregator sites like Trusted Pros or we've got actual renovation companies listed, right? So these are the types of terms that people generally target when they're running Google AdWords search campaigns because they're where the low-hanging fruit are for generating leads. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a mix of SEMrush as well as Google's display network to find some placements, uh, placements being web pages that you can publish advertising on through the Google display network to get your brand in front of people who aren't yet doing this type of search, who aren't yet searching for a renovation company in your city. They will be in the future likely, but they're not yet. So let's dive in. So the first thing we want to start with is uh, SEMrush. So SEMrush is a paid tool, definitely worthwhile having for even if it's just a month to do this type of research if you're running Google Display Network campaigns or if you're running uh, pay-per-click campaigns. So we're going to do a search for bathroom renovation. Uh, what you want to do is search for the, I guess, quote-unquote generic term, something um, Make sure you're in the country. I generally search US because it gives me more search results. Uh, back to the term. You want to use a term that's quite broad, something that would encompass a lot of words. So I wouldn't search for bathroom renovations Halifax here because, well, I'll show you in a minute. As I scroll down here, it shows me what the phrase match keywords are. These are all the words that are in the SEM Rush database that have the word bathroom renovation in it. If I was to put bathroom renovation Halifax or bathroom renovation Ottawa, what would end up happening is I would get very few words spit back at me. So underneath phrase match, we're going to click view full report. This is going to give me another page here that shows me all the words that have bathroom renovation in it. So as you can see here, so we've got, let's take a look, we've got cost, ideas, small bathroom renovations, average cost, how to renovate. What we want to do here is we want to grab some words. I'm going to open a text file here. I've got one. Okay, great. And I'm going to take uh, ideas as a good one. I want some words that you generally wouldn't try and rank for because they're they're not a converting keyword. They're far, they're at the beginning of the sales cycle, beginning of the research uh, phase, right? Bathroom renovation pictures. That's a good one because obviously we're dealing with a lot of visual stuff here. Uh, bathroom renovator, small bathroom, reno uh, budget bathroom renovations. Let's see. Ideas we've got. Uh, do, do, do. As I just scroll through here, before and after is a good one. So I'm going to go through and grab a few. I'll pause while I grab it. Actually, we'll just start with these three. We'll keep it simple. But I would go through and try and find as many words as you can. 10, 20, even 30. That's the first step. Now, next step, we're going to go to Google. And we're going to search those words that we just found. Now, here's what we're looking for. We've got a couple ads here at the top. I've done a little bit of this research already, but what we're going to do is click the first result. Notice how there's no map there. There was a map when we searched for bathroom renovations Halifax. Most of these more generic terms will not trigger a map listing. So we come to here, so we're better homes and gardens, bhg.com. So if I scroll on here, see this up here? Banner ad, that's served by Google Display Network. Let's see if we got another one here. Uh, not right on this page. We got one definitely here. Now, um, note that page. So let's copy that and put this in a list as well. I'll come back to this in a minute to explain something. Okay, we're going to scroll to the next one. Lowe's I'm going to skip because we know that's a hardware store, but I'm going to go to the house.com site. Looking again for banner ads. See if we have anything here. Specifically, we're looking for sites that serve banner ads through Google. And I'm not seeing it here. Okay, so that's fine, which kind of makes sense because House is kind of a lead generation network. Pioneer Craftsman, let's click this. Inspired Renovations, they're actually a renovation contractor in Kitchener-Waterloo. Wow, good for them for ranking for that term. This old house, my guess is we're, oh, pardon me. Uh, see, we have ads here. We probably will. Takes a little while for this stuff to load. I can see it coming up here. There's going to be an ad, which that means, okay, we definitely got at least one, so I'm going to take that page. So goal here is you want to get a list for each keyword that you find, 
an SEM rush, you want to find 10, well, 5 to 10 pages in the Google search engine results. And let me back up and explain why. What we're going to do is, right today, if you're a bathroom renovator in whatever city you're in, there's someone that's going to do a search for something like this. Bathroom renovation ideas, bathroom photos, bathroom before and afters. And they're not yet ready to look for a contractor, but they're looking for ideas. So they might come, they might click on this page. Now what we're going to show you how to do in this video is we're going to be able to take this page and we're going, to, we're going to tell Google that we want to buy this ad up here, this one at the top, for people who are in your geographic area, so you're within your zip code area or within your postal code area, and display your ad. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So that's the second step. We've, we go through and we create a list of URLs we want to target. Now, third step is you want to go into Google AdWords. Now, if uh, you're going to need an AdWords account to do this, we want display campaigns over here in the left. I'm using the new AdWords, uh, the new AdWords interface. I'm going to click campaigns again. If you need more detail on how to set this up, you may need to get another tutorial, but this gives you the basic idea. So we're going to click new campaign. We want display only. Uh, we're just going to go with website traffic now, uh, just to keep this simple. Standard display campaign. So we pick your settings and targeting. Yes, business ad business uh, website. I'm going to put the business website I want in there, so I'm just going to pull it up. Okay, continue. So now here's where things get kind of interesting. A couple things we want to do. We're going to call this um, campaign, we're going to call this uh, cold placement test. Uh, I use the word cold to mean connecting with people who don't yet know us or they haven't been to our site recently. Now locations is where it's going to get interesting. You want to go figure out what zip codes and postal codes are right around your area. I'm going to target a couple that I know uh, are where I'm at. So I'm going to go advanced search and location. And you start typing in like B2Y. So this is a postal code. I'm going to say target, right? Let's say B4B, target, uh, B2W. You're going to have to do a little research to figure out what yours are your area so we'll just we'll use these three for now it's just simple you would you would definitely add more right the idea is you only want people that are in your surrounding zip codes and postal codes to see these ads so you don't want to advertise on these particular websites to everyone who visits it you only want to advertise on these sites to people who are geographically around where you can service that visit those sites so for instance if we're talking about this better homes and gardens page we want to advertise here and here in this area to people who are in our geographical area that are looking at this bathroom remodeling page, right? Okay, so we're gonna, that's fine. So language is English, yes. Bidding, uh, we'll go for clicks, keep it simple. Manually set bids, sure. Um, you can do either or. There's different bidding strategies you can use. Budget, we're gonna keep this low. We're gonna bid five bucks a day to get some displays. Ad group name, we're gonna call these uh, bathroom uh, placements, you can call this audience. Okay, so here's where we're looking at audiences. We're, we don't want to put any audiences here, but what you are able to do is you can target, you can specifically target people who have been to your site before or people who are in different audiences based on what um, Google deems, you know, they've visited lots of sites about renovations or whatever it might be, so they feel they're in a specific audience of people you could target. Demographics, you can set this. I'm going to leave it as it is because we want everybody who's going to be visiting this bathroom remodeling page, so we're not going to get rid of that. Ad group bid, we're going to put a dollar. It says 86 cents. It's suggesting it doesn't even know what uh, what it wants to be using. They'll create ads. Um, I have existing ads already here, so I'm just going to say copy, right? I've got them in my retargeting. I'm going to say copy them over here, so I've got my banner ads. If You would need to create banner ads if that's the case, or create responsive ads if you don't have any uh, inside Google Display Network. We're going to go create campaign. Now, uh, your ads will be able to run with no targeted. Okay, of course. Okay, so what we need to do is continue to campaign. Now, once we're here in the campaign, over here on the left you'll see placements. You want to click that, and we're able to add them. So if we click this plus sign here, add placements, select an ad group. I'm going to select this bathroom placements one. So what do I want? Websites, YouTube channels. Where do I want? I want websites. Now I want to enter multiple placements. So you can take a list. I've only got two here. You can 
paste your lists in. And then you can say add two placements. One placement wasn't added, don't know why. Let's see if it says places can't be added for URL app. Doesn't exist. Oh, interesting. I'm pretty sure it exists. Let's go check. I may have pasted the wrong one. Oh, it looks like I may have. Let's try it again. There we go. Add one placement. There we go. So idea is you want to add in all the placements you find when you do your Google search for those keywords you uncover in SEMrush. Then you're going to save. It's going to list them all here. So effectively what now happens is you're running what we call a managed placement campaign. So you're picking the specific URLs you want to advertise on and we're advertising only if I come up here and look at uh, locations down here oh, you're advertising only for specific postal codes so you know. if I left this as is right now what this campaign would do is anybody who lives in B2W, B2Y or B4B and if they land on either of these two URLs I put the Better Homes and Gardens URL or this old house URL they okay. would be served our ads potentially there's a couple things that come into play here how much you're willing to bid and who else is trying to bid for that same person but that's the whole idea here so what ends up happening now is we're targeting people that come to these pages that are relevant to our industry and are sort of at the front end research phase for our uh, industry as well it's a great way to get brand awareness it's a great way to build up brand recognition within your industry with uh, people before they go out and search. Uh, also, of course, to generate leads because when pe if people are looking at bathroom remodeling ideas and you look at the ads that we are using, we're using very uh, generic ads that, that are basically, just one sec here, all oh, because these aren't going to be approved yet. You know, bathroom renovations made easy, free estimates book now. I say where we're serving, you know, HRM Tro and Kenville. So, um, that this this type of campaign just works to build great brand awareness and generate a few leads and it's very inexpensive to connect with a whole lot of people before they enter into the buying process of searching for other providers so great way to scoop up a few leads in the front end and doesn't take too long to do it doesn't cost a ton to do so that's it head on over to SEM rush do a little research for yourself build your list of URLs set up your Google display campaign as I just showed you targeting postal codes and those specific placements and you're off to the races thanks